Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Butter here. This is the second game for today, April 25th, 2023. This is a Western Conference matchup between Minnesota Timberwolves and uh, Denver Nuggets. This is number 8 going up against number 1, and that'll happen at around 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. We are now in this game number 5, Denver Nuggets. They are actually up on this series, 3 games to 1, looking to close this one out. Uh, the game will be at their home at Denver. And by the way, as we all know, we provide free predictions right here in our little channel, Pase Baller. Uh, but for those who would want to avail our best pick, you can actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, um, and all other dashboards that you can see right there in the description of this video. We also provide the best pick for the Major League Baseball, by the way. All right, again, Denver Nuggets, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, yeah, we got to give it to Minnesota Timberwolves. After winning that game, I'm pretty sure that they are a bit pumped up, especially with how Anthony Edwards uh, helped the team. Man, he doesn't look like he's, uh, he's a young dude, right? Um, he is a leader. He is a scorer. He is athletic. He is a star. Um, so we'll see what's, you know, we'll see what's going to happen in this game number five. Now, let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams, all right? Now, uh, for Minnesota Timberwolves, this is going to hurt. Uh, Naz Reed and Jaden uh, McDaniels, they are still both out. And Kyle Anderson would not be able to join them because of the injury that he got on his eye. I'm not sure who hit him. I think it was Anthony Edwards, if I'm not mistaken. But it was a friendly fire, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't a Nugget who actually hit him on that eye. Um, I guess it was like a rebound player or something. Um, yeah, but if I'm not mistaken, it was Anthony Edwards who hit him. Of course, um, not not intentionally. Um, of course, Jalen Noel is listed as uh, questionable. So Minnesota Timberwolves now have three players out and one listed as questionable. Well, for Denver Nuggets, it has been Colin Gillespie who has been out for the rest of the season ever since the start of this uh, series. So it's like um, uh, there's no change. But obviously, Denver Nuggets would now have the advantage in terms of their health. In essence, they are complete. While Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, they are missing Kyle Anderson and we know Kyle Anderson is a very crucial part of uh, the, you know of their lineup um, he ain't the best scorer he ain't the best defender but he actually provides um, on both ends of the court all right um, I expect a very good game uh, for Denver Nuggets right here of course Minnesota Timberwolves they are pumped up you know they would want to extend uh, the series and they would want to go back to Minnesota um, but as we all know, Denver Nuggets, man, they are totally different whenever they are at home. Uh, remember game number one, they actually had a huge blowout. I guess it was a 29-point lead on game number two. Uh, Denver Nuggets uh, won by nine. So you can you can see, man, um, Denver Nuggets would actually beat the heck out of you, especially whenever they are at home. Well, they actually did that in, right in Minnesota's home in game number three. But again, we're talking about Denver's home. They, they are... Totally different whenever they are at home in terms of scoring, in terms of defense. Of course, the crowd is behind them. Um, so I'm, I'm not really expecting Minnesota Timberwolves to actually force, a, you know, force another game and go back to, uh, go back to uh, Minnesota's um, home court, especially with Kyle Anderson out. You know, it's not like uh, they don't have anyone off the bench who can actually help. Uh, they do have some other players who can help them out, but what? What Minnesota is lacking on this uh, series is bench, and now they're lacking another player in, in, in Kyle Anderson. So it's going to be very hard for them. But again, uh, Denver Nuggets, I'm pretty sure that they would actually uh, they would actually show up um, in a very very uh, tight you know in a very very tight uh, um, confidence and all that. I feel like Denver Nuggets versus Minnesota Timberwolves this will be a bit close um, towards the you know towards the first part of the game but Denver Nuggets would have enough to actually cover the spread and uh, win this one by double digits covering the spread of uh, minus 9.5 and advancing towards the next round Minnesota Timberwolves they have shown great on this series but again they would need to have some help off the bench and that's not what they've been getting lately not until game number four right but I don't expect that from happening again especially in Denver's home court. 
My pick, Denver, minus 9.5. Again, that's Nuggets, minus 9.5. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.